All right. Good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem. Welcome to today's vlogs. Continuing with my scout reports on players headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. For this vlog, I'm going to talk about a linebacker from Vanderbilt, one of my top two outside linebackers entering this year's draft, and Zach Cunningham. I think this is going to be a great player for you guys to look at, and I think you should be watching out for him in the first two rounds of this year's draft. This kid is actually hailing from Penn State. In Alabama. He was actually six foot five, two hundred, um, six foot three, two hundred and five pounds coming out of high school, and he was heavily recruited by some of the top schools, even the SEC, including Auburn and Tennessee. Before deciding to head over to Vanderbilt because he liked their academic um uh standards better than the other schools that um recruited him, and even Oregon Ducks actually recruited him highly as well. Before he actually gained thirty pounds over the course of his college football career. Now, over the past two seasons, he actually had 100 plus tackles. In 2015, he did have um, 103 tackles with 16 and a half tackles for loss. He did duplicate that with another 16 tackles for loss, 16 and a half tackles for loss, to go along with 125 tackles leading the SEC. And he was the first player in school history to become a unanimous first team All American. Big ups for him. He definitely did well deserved, and he was on everybody's watch list for 2016. And he did duplicate what he did and showed that he wasn't a fluke in 2015. Now it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. The first and foremost that I noticed that he does have um, a 4.67 um, 40, which is great speed in which he can use to convert into even more power. This is unlike uh, most other linebackers with his length. He does have great length. I mean, six foot three, and he is 234 pounds, 35 pounds, which you kind of want your outside linebacker to be. To have that um, nice, lanky frame, he has the ability to put his hands up to swap the football away. Now, um, I do like the fact with the combination of speed, he could definitely use that and more pass rushing on skills, which he does need to improve on, which I will talk about further with his weaknesses. Now, other things I do like about him is that he definitely does a good job slipping off cut blocks and other techniques against opposing blockers. He did a great job shutting off blocks to did whatever it took to get to the ball carry. He did an excellent job with that being all over the field and being a true leader on the defensive unit. Now, I did mention um, one of his weaknesses. I did mention as far as pass rushing, he doesn't really post up pass rushing um, skills as far as the numbers. He only had six sacks over the three years that he did play for uh, Vanderbilt. He actually was a redshirt freshman um, answering 2014. He only had six sacks in total, so it shows that he didn't really show too much ability to get to the quarterback, but has enough ability to get behind um, the line of scrimmage to get tackles for loss. He reminds me a lot of Ryan Shazier of the uh, Pittsburgh. Steelers and how, um, how how he was recruited. If you looked at his numbers, he didn't post up big sack numbers, but he did have the ability to get behind the line of scrimmage when he during his time at Ohio State. And I do see the same thing for um, Zach Cunningham. Some people do look at him as an inside linebacker, but I think he would be a better fit at outside linebacker. Not too much of a bull rush type uh, outside linebacker to get to the quarterback in sacks, but have the ability to cause disruption enough, just like Ryan Sazier. And Ryan Sazier did was a Pro Bowl selection this past season. Now, another thing that I did notice, he only had 15 reps at 225 pounds bench press. So, a little bit of a weakness there. With that speed, you just wish he was a lot stronger. I did mention the lanky frame. Some people believe he, that because of his strength, he might be a little bit off balance and be shut and be pushed around at the next level compared to um, uh, his success in college. That's just another thing that they are concerned about com with the combination with the strength. Like I said, only 15 reps at 225 25 pounds. Now I think he will be a great fit in um in both three four three and three four, but I think he will be a better fit as a three four outside linebacker. Not like a rush outside linebacker, but more of a, a Ryan Sazier type outside linebacker, like what he was with the Pittsburgh Steelers, in which they do use four linebackers as well. Or even the Kansas City Chiefs is another team that could use him um for this year. He could be picked either in the first round or in the second round at the latest. Now the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have another blog to talk about. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man Akeem McCall. Be easy.